Kenya's capital has been uh, given a big makeover ahead of the visit. It's cost hundreds and thousands of dollars and has revealed a side of Nairobi few residents have ever seen. Clementine Logan has this. Kenya, or at least the capital, is in the grips of Obama mania. And its green city in the sun is getting a makeover against the clock. A beautification project dubbed Obamacare by locals, estimated by some to cost around half a million dollars. Roads have been relayed, street lights fixed, billboards erected and the highway in from the airport boasts a new garden. Nairobi has rarely looked this appealing. Plenty of people are excited, but some are less pleased. Kenya will be exposed to the world, so it's good that they are at least trying to do something. But I think they would have done it earlier. It would have been much better. It would have made more sense. It should be kept clean whether there is a visitor coming or not. What if Obama wasn't coming? Do you think uh, the, the cleaning and everything should be, will be, uh, could have been done? I don't think so. Obama's accommodation is a tightly kept secret, but security around three big hotels will be heavy. Some Nairobians are concerned about how his visit will disrupt their lives, with roads sealed off and movement around the city tightly controlled. We really welcome him, but uh, from the other side of it, I can see that uh, much of, uh, of my work would be distracted. One, they're crossing so many roads. Two, I don't think uh, the airport will be operating those two or three days. Our lives will be disrupted, traffic, some roads will be closed, so it won't be business as usual. Like, um, we won't be able to move around like we do all the time. Yeah, But it's just a few days and it's important, so I mean, you can, you know, you have to work with it. However, some are cashing in, with flags now for sale on many street corners. You can even get your hands on an Obama portrait. Some people have been interested in it and they've been asking about the, the paintings and if they're available. I think uh, it's something that will remind you that Obama was in Kenya if you buy it for one. Yeah. It's a lasting history. I look forward to welcoming you to Kenya. For his part, President Uhuru Kenyatta has launched a slick campaign to promote the Global Entrepreneurship Summit he'll co-host with his American counterpart. Nairobi for the sixth annual Global Entrepreneurship Summit. Ahead of Obama's arrival, his schedule's been a closely guarded secret. But what people in this city know for certain is it's going to be a difficult weekend of sealed roads and heavy security. And they're bracing themselves for lockdown. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.